we are going to take up the individual fractures because each fracture has got its own way of management depending upon the type of fracture where there is any accompanying injury or where there is any dislocation along the fracture and loss of skin all those things. So, naturally we will talk about the injuries of the upper limb first to start with we will talk about fracture of clavicle or collar bone. So, how does it occur? Most of the fractured clavicles occur due to indirect violence that is fall on outstretched hand and then direct injuries in motor vehicle accidents. Here let us first consider about fractured clavicle due to fall on outstretched hand. What happens? The patient will complain of severe pain in the shoulder region and it tries to hold the hand and comes to the outpatient department with the hand like this because the once you let it hang the fracture comes the fragments rub against each other and they produce pain. So, usually they with the support of the normal hand they walk into the OP like this. So, the first thing is the pain two you can see prominence as you know a collar bone or clavicle is just below the skin otherwise we call it a subcutaneous. So, naturally it has not got any muscles or anything like that superficially. So, the minute there is a fracture the bone will look very very prominent. So, you say sir I am able to see bones are projecting up and I am feeling some kind of a knob, knob like feeling. So, here pain and prominence of the bones prominence of fracture ends then inability to lift the shoulder. In case of children because this has become quite a common thing nowadays very often people miss this fracture in children. Usually the fall is from the bed or from cradle because the child infant especially he cannot tell where the pain is he goes on crying. So, you look at very carefully there will be a little bit of swelling and it will be tender to touch. This is very very important because very often this fracture in children is missed, but nothing to worry about in case of children because the fracture gets united very very fast and most often the fracture of clavicle in children is detected in second week because by that time soft callus starts forming and there is a knob like projection in the middle of the clavicle the parents will get worried there is something wrong with the bone there which become very prominent and some projection is there at that time only people come to us. So, nothing to worry about because this fracture as I already mentioned is very easy to treat just put a sticking plaster if you just apply and leave it and give some pain relieving tablet or syrup or suspension child will be all right. But in adults this is a different thing because it has got a peculiar displacement if you take this as a fracture coming from the middle here there is a curve at the junction of medial two thirds and lateral one third there is a curve it will be most it will be very weak at this curve. So, at this particular place there is a little bit of a curve like this here it is architecturally weak that is why it gives away here. So, what happens if this breaks because of the weight of the limb this comes down the proximal fragment towards the chest will be like this and this fragment is seen like this with a big gap. This fragment comes downwards and that is why when you take an x-ray it looks very ghastly. So, the minute if they look at the people look at the x-ray they will be wondering oh it is very badly this what is going to happen to me. The treatment is going to depend upon the displacement. Sometimes there will be direct injury there may be occasionally two or three fragments like this then we call it as a comminuted fracture. Now, management. Management consists of first send the patient for x-ray give a arm pouch or 
a sling. This is to prevent the drag of the lower fragment downwards. If you give a pouch or arm sling, patient will keep it like that. There will not be further drag or drooping or falling downwards of the lateral fragment. Once you confirm the treatment, con always conservative. First choice is conservative. Rarely surgery. If you are going to do surgery, plating or K wire fixation. This is preferred than plating. Why only conservative treatment? Because fracture clavicle has got very good blood supply, fracture is from the membranous part, that the bone is developed from a membranous part, that is why it easily gets sedated without much problem. There is lot of blood supply and fracture clavicle gets sedated very easily. That is why we do not usually do any surgery for fracture clavicle. Now, previously we used to apply what is known as figure of 8 bandage. Even now, from behind, if you look at this, there will be a figure of 8 like this. The idea is to lift the lower fragment, just sag it down, you elevate that fragment and then keep it in position by applying a figure of 8 bandage by pulling the both shoulders like this through the axilla on either side. So, we just keep the shoulder like this and try to pull it. Now, instead of the figure of 8 bandage, special clavicular braces are available. This figure of 8 bandage is very difficult to apply, patient will not cooperate much because of the pain. So, easier things have come now, what are known as clavicular braces. So, they do the same thing, we keep it behind and draw them and keep it behind, they have a buckle or some kind of a uh, sticking plaster like thing where more of a velcro thing will be overlapping that and we keep it in that position. So, this is the where purpose is to see that till the fracture unites the lower fragment is lifted upwards. Along with this you have got to keep arm pouch. This we keep it for about 3 weeks generally. There is going to be a bump for about 3 to 2 months from 3 weeks up to nearly sometimes several months. So, this is very very important because by 3 weeks what happens is as I told in the beginning itself the fracture starts getting united and just below the skin there is a fracture with callus because we do not have any muscle it is below the skin here we can feel it and looking at that prominence people get worried that there is something wrong. So, in the beginning itself you have got to tell them about how the fracture heals, how it is going to get remodeled later. Now, what happens to the fracture if it is not treated properly? The commonest problem with a fracture clavicle is small union, because we do not try to get them together completely, but only brace it up. So, there may be a small union, that is only a temporary affair after some time, it goes off, there is nothing to worry about and non union in a fracture is very very uncommon. Only 1 percent we feel will be a non union and rarely there will be injury to the brachial plexus, injury to blood vessels, injury to brachial, brachial plexus you may see sometimes, but injury to blood vessels are usually accompanied by other multiple injuries and very often it is a more of a fatal injury rather than a patient is likely to come to us alive. 